Hey, what's up, guys? My name is SG Jawa. Today, we're back in Clash Royale. We brung you, I mean, just me. I brought you a deck that it just overcomes anything. This is a air deck. Um, it's the Lava Hound, Inferno, a uh, Baby Dragon, Minions, Goblins, Musket, Rage, and Zap. Now, let me tell you what each one does. The Lava Hound, he's he's the tank. Like, let's say from our last deck in Clash Royale, it was the Golem. Um, then to get out those like minions, minion horror. Horror and stuff like that. We have the baby dragon. And now if we have like these kind of tanky troops. Like let's say the mini Pekka. We have the minions over here. To uh, just take it out pretty quickly. And we have the infernal dragon. Uh, to take out the towers. The main thing is towers or super um, tanky troops. I mean cards that I want to take away. And the musket is, is just there for like some backup. And the minions back up the zap is like let's say Inferno is on my lava hound. I just zap it and hopefully the troop um I keep saying troops uh the cards you can say troops too um behind it will um eventually take it out. So um we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna just gonna see uh let's donate. Yeah. Uh, anyways um so. We're going to show you these replays first of all, and I'm sorry about the camera um, quality because uh, I'm on the go kind of right now, so this is like the quickest form of um, face cam video, so might get kind of pixelated. Yeah. Anyways, we are going to show you the replay right now. Let's get right into it, guys. Um, so... Okay, this was the Golem deck from yesterday. I won one from this morning. And here's one that I won previously. Uh, we're going to watch it. <clears throat> I actually personally like this one. And I think it's going to be part of my thumbnail. Okay, we're just going to lower down the volume there. Um, So, I placed down the Infernal Dread. No, the Musket, right? I'm pretty sure I placed down the Musket. Yeah, I placed down the Musket. The Musket to counter the Wizard... And the balloon, but the balloon was gonna hit my tower, I believe. No, wait. Oh, yeah, the balloon gets one hit. The wizard gets too many hits. That tower is down almost, and I'm mad, so I put a mad face. Um, so he's gonna he's gonna place. I think he it was was it the hog rider? No, the lumberjack. I don't remember. Um, but we'll see. So we placed the Infernal Dragon, I remember that, and then in front of it, we're going to place the Lava Hound um, as a tank. So we're just like rushing it in so far, we're just going all out right now. And we placed down the minions, and I kind of forgot what I placed down next, was it the Rage? Yeah, I placed down the Rage, the Rage boosted them bad. I put the Zap on the Lumberjack and the Skeletons behind it, so the Lumberjack can't really, and the Skeletons can't really do that much. Uh, the, uh... The hog rider is going to come, and I place down the minions to take it out. The minions are having a hard time to take it out because it's running away from them. But the Infernal Dragon takes down that tower on the left-hand side. So that is one crown for me. And this was a three-crowner. Um, We placed down the Lava Hound again uh, as a tank, as you can see. And uh, I think, yeah, they started push on the right side or the left side. I think they started, no, they just went right in. So, they had the Balloon and Wizard. I guess that's their main push. But I put um, the Baby Dragon to just, like, kind of do some splash damage there. It didn't really help take away the Balloon, but I didn't want to go in too tanky. I didn't want to risk losing the tankiest troops or the more damaged troops. Um, so, this is our main push over here, and that is going to give us the three crown, guys. So, we took the win there. This guy was a level 9. Where we were both the same level. Hopefully I can get to level 10 soon enough in these days. Because I remember I clicked Clash Royale. But that's not really the point right now. Um, So we had the Lava Hound. So we're going to place down the Lava Hound, right? We're going to place the Lava Hound on the left side. Even though we should have defended, we have the minions over there to do that. So our push is going to stay strong. 
we are just gonna slowly get our push up. That one minion su survives from that uh, splash damage of the wizard and takes out the wizard just by one minion. The inferno is gonna go on the lava hound, but then I zap it right in when I was about to kill the lava hound. Then I put a rage. So I can just see what happens. But then it went on the baby dragon. So everything got screwed up there. Then I placed the minions to help uh, the lava hounds. Um, not the lava hounds. The lava pups. To uh, take them out. And then. So he's he placed a, a spawner. And a furnace. Uh, he, I'm going to place down. I believe I was going to place down a lava hound. Yeah I'm going to place down a lava hound right now. Yeah. So I placed down the lava hound. And we're just gonna go all in again, cause this we're cycling. It's kind of like a cycle deck. He rocketed that. I was frustrated, but I didn't do too much damage. Since we have a level two lava hound. Grazie to me. Um, so we are gonna place the infernal dragon. Boom! We get the baby dragon, the infernal dragon. This is the overall really good push. Then I put in a rage, and that takes out that tower. Easy peasy. Now the the lava pups do so much damage, guys. Um, this is it. I, I got a three count. The Infernal Dragon is locked down to that tower. It's going to take off that tower. That tower is going to be gone. Oh, wait. I forgot this raid. It left it at 64 health. That sucks. <laughs> so, we were this close to, um, taking down that tower. But we're starting over the push again. We're just, like, doing some stupid stuff because we know that we're gonna win so but we also don't want to get too cocky so we're actually starting a good good push so we have the um the lava hound the infernal dragon and the baby dragon we're gonna zap the skeletons on the right hand side yep we did that kind of late um the infernal tower is gonna go down one i believe one minion that one minion right there took out that tower and then we got the three crown in this raid and then we're gonna do a live attack right now Sometimes this microphone doesn't work. That's the point. Anyways, we're going to do this. So that guy's crying off the bat. So he probably got the wrong deck. Or he's just crying just because he feel like crying. So I'm going to cry back because he wants to cry again. I'm going to cry again. Um. So hopefully we can put the Lava Hound first before he starts to push on the right-hand side. Or the left-hand side for him. So he is going to defend now. Now he's locked. He, he can't start a push right now unless he's a maniac and starts to push. So... We are going to place down an Inferno Dragon. We can't forget, this is not a replay. This is a live attack. We're not watching, not just commentary. So, we're going to zap. What just happened? Wait. What just happened? So, guys. I don't know what happened with that zap. I feel like it was a glitch. Oh, wow. The Lava... They have a good, they have a good push there. I don't even know why I said Lava Ham for a second. Okay, we're going to take out that... Okay, we took it out though, guys. And uh, yeah, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to, It's kind of tight here. So I didn't expect them to start a push while I was attacking. They took it out pretty easily, but we're gonna go ahead and do this one more time. Oh, my bad. Uh, we're gonna do the lava hound. We're gonna change it. Actually, I was about to place the musket, but there's a Pekka right there, and you all know that we need the infernal dragon. To take this out. That's why we have it in this deck. To take down big um, tanky troops. And hopefully we don't lose this round. But if we get close. I would still consider this a really really good deck. We're going to place down the minions. And then this. Oh they're going to take down the inferno dragon. And uh, we're going to zap that wizard. Uh, Hopefully. No. Uh, okay. Never mind. So we're going to place down the minions on that P.E.K.K.A. Hopefully it doesn't do too much damage to our tower or none at all. Okay, it's not going to do any damage to our tower. Wait, it almost did damage to our tower. We are going to place down an Infernal Dragon on that. Oh, Hog Rider. They freezed it. No. Okay, we have, it's two times the elixir. We need, we need to step this up, guys. We need to step this up. Hopefully we can get a clutch round right now. Um, so we're gonna place down the baby dragon right there. There's gonna be a wizard there. We're gonna place down the spare goblins. We're gonna place down the rage spell. They missed that rocket. The minions are gonna split up. We're gonna place some more minions. I mean, those were actually goblins. We're gonna zap that. And then we're, we're overall on this push right now. Okay, those lava pups are gonna take that out, hopefully. I don't know if they're gonna take it out. I don't think they're gonna take it out. We're just gonna just put some stuff down. We're gonna rage that just in case. Anything happens. That was pretty stupid, but they have nothing to put down. Now they have the P.E.K.K.A. 
Now we need to do this um, Lava Hound push right over again. So hopefully we can like just tie this out or not lose at all because we don't want to lose, guys. Because we're trying to prove that this deck is really good, and it is good. So hopefully I don't die. I'm getting really nervous right now. So we're going to play Starlight Infernal Dragon. He has that. Okay, we're going to need the Baby Dragon. Come on, Baby Dragon. Hog Rider is right there. Okay. Spare Goblins. Spare Goblins. They took that out. They took this part out. They took it out. Yeah, they took it out. But I feel like doing one more round. It's been too long though. Try out this deck, guys. Don't 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 worry about the losses. It just depends. Um, from last um last deck, of uh, the last video, right? Of uh, the Golem deck, it won quite a bit, but then we lost, right? See, because, like, you're not always going to win if you use the same deck because there's going to be other decks that can counter it easily. So, I would, I would suggest you guys switch it, like, let's say 50-50. One time you use the Golem deck, one time you use the uh, Lava Hound deck. If you guys don't have legendaries, uh, let me know down in the comments down below if you want a deck that uh, you don't um, want legendaries in, and I'll make the deck for you guys. Um, you guys can mix this up. Let's say... uh. Let me help you mix this up for a second. If you guys don't have, oh wow, I just really had two legendaries, Inferno Jay and Lava Hound. Uh, maybe you can mix this up with. Okay, you can use it with the giant skeleton. Skeleton? Yeah, the giant skeleton works. Um, and then Inferno Dragon, I would suggest you guys putting a witch. Yeah, that would that would help. Putting a witch, it might be less, but the push will still will be still be good. And if you guys want another deck, comment down below. And if you guys hadn't enjoyed this deck, even though we uh, lost those round, uh, do you guys want to see uh, the Golem deck real quick, actually? Um, if you guys haven't watched that video yet, uh, we're just going to do it like times four or something. Uh, looks like our internet's kind of bad right now. So we're going to do it times four. So I placed down the Golem. This one was the last deck. We placed down the Golem. Then I think we did the the yeah we did the Inferno Dragon. This is an Inferno Dragon deck too. We placed the freeze so we get the Inferno Dragon to take out that tower. We did excellently good and the Inferno Dragon takes out that tower. And then we won that easily. So you can see how that deck. If you guys want to see that deck, it's in the last video. So click on that video if you guys want to see that deck. If you get both of these decks, you have a higher chance of making it even like over three thousand trophies. In a matter of a day, you can come from 2,000 trophies to 3,000 trophies in a matter of like two days. So it's really easy. And I actually was like 2,000 trophies. I mean, I was 2,500 trophies. Then I went down to 2,000 because I was testing out decks for you guys. Then I used these two decks and I actually got up to close to 2,600. And my highest was like 2,500 or something. So these two decks actually did really good. And be sure to check out this clan uprising and if you guys watch this video um comment down um comment not comment text in the clan and if you guys had it enjoyed peace I'll always soar across the sky.